Hey guys, uh, over the last few months, I've made several videos about how to virtualize Linux or how to install Linux on a Chromebook, things like that. And I get a lot of good questions on how do I install this or why am I getting this error or whatever the case may be. Tonight or yesterday, I guess technically, um, I got a, a comment on one of my videos um, asking me to do a video on how to download the ISOs for, in this case, Kali Linux. Um, but I figured maybe there's I've missed something along the way, and that's, I just have made the assumption that if you're going to uh, be trying to get into Kali, you'd know how to do things like uh, download a, an ISO file or how to use a torrent program, things like that. Um, because Kali is a very intense uh, Linux distribution, you have to know quite a bit about computers, in my opinion, to get started. So I thought I would take a minute to go over how to download a Kali Linux and also an Ubuntu Linux ISO that we can then use to uh, virtualize or use however we like. Um, all of those videos have already been made, but I guess I've just skipped this step in making the assumption that people knew how to download these ISOs. So let's switch angles. Uh, we'll take a look at my desktop and I'll show you a couple of different ways to download these ISOs for use in later applications. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. Uh, we are on the Kelly Linux website. This is kelly.org. And uh, downloading from here is fairly straightforward, really. Uh, if you come over to where it says Downloads, um, you're given some options to select from here, just in the drop down. We just want to select Download Kali Linux. From here, we're going to be presented with a bunch of different options. Um, and that's going to be uh, different Kali Linux distributions, whether it's Kali Linux 64-bit or uh, Kali Lite 64-bit, or there's all of these different options. And of course, if you scroll a little further down, there's all these different versions in 32-bit as well. Um, depending on what kind of computer you've got, or more specifically, how much memory or RAM your computer has will determine which of these you'll want to download. If your computer has more than four gigabytes of memory, and you have a 64-bit processor, you'll want to select any of the 64-bit options. If your computer has less than four gigabytes of memory and or a 32-bit processor, you'll want to select the 32-bit option. The next column gives us two options, and that's under the download column. The first option is HTTP, the second option is torrent. These will effectively get you the same end result. You'll end up with the same file, but it's two different ways to acquire that file. If you click the HTTP link here, like that, it will immediately start downloading from the Kali Linux servers. I don't like to do it this way, so I'm going to cancel this and I'll explain why. When you've got a server, anytime you're hosting files somewhere, whether it's a file server or a website or an app or something, unless you own the data center, you'll have to pay for, for a space in that data center to put your servers, or you'll rent space or you'll rent servers from that data center. Either way, you have to pay for the server space. You also have to pay for all the incoming and outgoing traffic um, the, that's go, coming to and from your server. So if, if Joe Schmo visits your website and downloads a file and that file is five gigabytes, then you, the server owner or the server lease or the person leasing the server have to pay for that five gigabytes of bandwidth. When you're dealing with operating systems like this and you've got say hundreds or thousands of people downloading these ISOs every day, that gets very, very costly. But if I had if I had clicked this HTTP and let it run, it would have just downloaded this ISO file to my downloads folder. Now the other option is to download via torrent. And this is the method I like to use. The reason I like to use torrenting is because it's a peer-to-peer -peer protocol, meaning that say 10,000 people all have this exact same file on their computer and it's in their torrent program, then you have the opportunity to download from all of those people without costing Kali Linux or Ubuntu Linux or any of these other organizations any money. Obviously somebody had to download it first and that's, that's the nature of the beast. But when you've got a bunch of people 
who are sharing that file, two things happen. One is you're not costing the, the Linux organization any money by, by downloading their files because you're getting it from everybody but them in most cases. The other thing is that you'll download the files much, much faster in almost every case. So again, let me, I'll go ahead and click this HTTP again, and we'll actually go in here to show all. And I'm getting four, five megs. Looks like we're climbing to seven. So this is doing okay. But it's still gonna take an hour. Eventually it'll, it'll top out at 20 megs or something probably. Again, this is all coming from the Kali Linux servers and this is costing them money. So I'm gonna cancel that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to here and I'm going to click torrent. And this file is only a few kilobytes in size. So then if I click here and I open that torrent file, um, then it's going to open, um, in my case, a QTorrent or a QBit torrent rather. That's the torrenting program I use for all of this. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And then here we've got all of the different Linux distro or distros that I've downloaded. And here we can see that I'm there's I'm currently connected to 28, 30 people now, 32 out of the possible 2,700. Immediately I jumped to 28-ish uh, megabits per second, or megabytes per second, I guess. And this will only take a few minutes. Again, this won't cost Kali Linux anything. It will cost the people sharing a bit of their bandwidth and a bit of their data cap, but that's it. And that's why I prefer to use torrenting to download these Linux distributions. So that's how to download a Kali Linux distribution. So now let's take a look at Ubuntu. This is gonna be very, very similar. We're gonna go to their website and over here there's a downloads folder. And I just want, in this case, to download their desktop. So I'll click desktop. There are several different options, but desktop is the most likely thing that you'll use. Now from here, yeah, again, you've got two options. You can download straight from their servers by clicking the download button, right? And then it's gonna bring you to a download page. And here they're asking for donations. They're asking off the bat for $15 in donations. Now you don't have to give that. The download has already started, but they're asking for donations to help keep their organization going and paying for their servers and that sort of thing. You can also see here, um, that if I click this, we're going fairly slowly. And part of that is because yes, oh no, in fact, it's not. That, that Kali Linux that I wanted is already done. So this may start jumping up a little bit, but it's still two gigs. It's gonna take a while and I'm costing them bandwidth. So I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is actually go back a page. I wanna go back to this desktop page. And if you look here, it says for other versions of Ubuntu desktop, including torrents, the network installer, or a list of local mirrors, please see um, the alternative downloads page. We're gonna go there. So here are a bunch of different ways that you can install uh, Ubuntu Linux. One's over a network. Um, and then here is the BitTorrent um, option. Um, so let's go ahead and download uh, the newest version, which is Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, this is the long-term support version. Um, so if we go ahead and click this, again, we're gonna get a torrent file. Again, a couple of kilobytes. So I'm gonna open that. Of course, it's already said that it's in there, um, but it's the same process. In fact, you can see it is right here. I've already downloaded it. I downloaded it the other day. Um, you can see that they've got their own trackers, that sort of thing, but it's much faster and it's less intensive on the, the servers for these Linux uh, organizations to do it via torrent. Okay guys, so there you go. That's how to download an ISO for Kali Linux and Ubuntu Linux, uh, both via their server or HTTP or via a BitTorrent client um, or, or torrenting, peer-to-peer uh, -peer networking, however you wanna, whatever terminology you wanna use there. There's two different ways you can download um, those ISOs. These methods will apply to basically any other Linux distribution that's out there. Um, again, like I said earlier, I prefer to use 
um, the torrenting method because it's less costly for the organizations creating these operating systems. So hopefully this video was helpful. Um, I apologize if this was a little underwhelming, um, but after the, the comment I received, I figured maybe I missed a step somewhere. So I thought I would just create this video to show you how to download these different operating systems in different ways, um, whichever is, works better for you, whichever you feel better, more comfortable with, whatever, there you go, that's how to do it. Uh, if you've got other questions or ideas for videos I could make, leave those in the comment section down below. Um, I, a lot of the videos I've created lately have been as a direct result of you guys leaving comments, so I really do appreciate that. Um, if you found the video helpful, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a bunch, makes me happy to, to see the additional thumbs up down there. Um, if you like this kind of content, there's always the, the subscribe button, which really just gives me a bigger number but doesn't do anything for you. So if you want to get notified, hit the bell icon. Uh, you might get notified. We can all cross our fingers there. Um, also, anytime I release a video, I post it on social media. All my social media links are in the description down below as well. So you can follow me there. So with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Again, leave all your comments down below and I will talk to you guys in the next video.